We're here on the Spinner Stand at AMB, and my goodness me, am I excited to speak to Dominic about your micro turn range. Now, why is this machine one of the most popular machines that you sell here at Spinner? Now, this machine is very flexible for our customers, and we can adapt it to the different needs of the customer. So we can start with a simple machine, just linear tuning. We can add a turret, a BX is for milling, and finally, you can do grinding also on the machine. Okay, we're going to show you just how flexible they are in just a few moments because we've got a few machines lined up here. But who is this machine designed for? Designed for different industries. It starts with all industries who need, who need um, high precision micro turn machining, like medical industry, like watchmaking, and also automobile industry. We have um, small components on a high accuracy. accuracy. And you've kind of really ramped it up when you've added automation to the machine, haven't you? Yeah, we have many customers using the machine for small batches of parts. And we have also customers, they need high volume production. And then we can add to all of the machines we see now, automation. Okay, so tell me the benefits of the configuration of this machine. Yeah, on this machine we have a turret for flexible machining. And also we have a linear slide. We can adapt the tools direct on the slide for high accuracy. So if you find if you need to find the last microns of machining, then you have to add the tools on a linear slide and you can we are in some microns tolerances. And what I really like about this on this machine is the fact that you make the component move and not the tools. Yes, it's a big advantage of the machine. So we have the spindle moving, moving in X and Z axis, and the tools are all fixed. So we can adapt the tools, the customer bigger tools, also the grinding wheel we can adapt on the slide and have a very flexible machine. Okay, let's have a look at the next adaptation of yeah. the tools. So Dominic, we're looking at a twin spindle, one turret and the milling head. Yes. This fascinates me because this is incredibly flexible, isn't it? Yeah, correct. So if a customer needs machining on, on both spindles with this milling head, he can use tools in the spindle. We have a tool magazine on top of the machine with up to 72 tools. Wow. And so we are very flexible. So you can have tools on the turret, tools on a linear slide, and additional 70 tools in the magazine. I absolutely love this because we're harping on so much about having one hit machining, getting yes. that component on and off in one, and you've got 72 tools. Yes, correct, yeah. So again, you know, who is your main customer for components like this then? Typical customer for this machine is also watchmaking oh. or customers who need, who, who makes uh, not a big amount of parts, more the flexible parts. So he, he, he has a part with many holes, many drillings from the side, many different contours, and then it's very flexible. Complex, but high accuracy. Yeah, correct. Yeah. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's go on to the next machine because we cover grinding here, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Now, this is really interesting because you've got grinding, but you've got hard turning in one machine, haven't you? Yes, correct. It's combined here. So the customer can start with hard turning to go close to the finish dimension and then use the grinding wheels. We have also grinding for the OD and grinding for the inner diameter on this machine to finish the surface of the part perfectly. And what's the benefit here? Because you've got static tools on this yeah. and then your grinding wheel. So how does this work? That the grinding can work on a turning machine. It's important to have uh, a rigid machine and you need also big grinding wheels with a diameter of 400 in this machine. Yes. And it's very heavy. So it's important to have the static on the machine. And that's why we have the spindle, the turning spindle moving with the part and we can adapt this big running spindle on this lathe. I think the configuration of this machine is fascinating. And I, I, what I really pick up is that the time savings that you're going to be making yes, on here, time, yeah. accuracy, because you're not moving a component from one machine Correct. to the other. So overall, what would you describe the micro turn range as being? Because for me, it's flexibility. Yes, it's flexibility and accuracy. Yeah, we, have, we can have the machines in different configurations up to the customer needs. Starting from a simple, accurate lace, turning just on a linear slide, moving up to a machine with, with two spindles, turret, milling head, and finally with grinding option on the machine. The possibilities are endless.